Hi everyone, recently we received a very interesting pair of microphones for restoration. The Bruel Kia 4006, dating back to the 80s, is still considered a global reference for classical recording. Ironically, almost no one in the world repairs such capsules. We manufacture microphones of the same type, so we decided to take the risk and eventually we succeeded. And now we'll show you how this iconic microphone is designed. The first thing we see is a diaphragm made of ultra-thin nickel metal. The strength and stability of the metal ensure exceptional tonal accuracy. The active area of diaphragm is about 10 mm in size. Beneath it lies a ceramic backplate with holes, coated in a vacuum-deposited aluminum conductive layer. On top of that is so-called electrite, a thin film of polarized Teflon that holds an electric charge. It creates a field in which the microphone membrane moves. In its role, electrite is similar to the magnet in dynamic microphones and speakers. Only the field of electrite is not a magnetic but electric. The acoustic design of 4006 is almost entirely borrowed from Bruel & Kier 4165 measurement capsule. For comparison, on the right is the capsule from our Reso X21 microphone based on the same design. All key dimensions of these capsules match down to the microphone. However, to achieve higher sensitivity, the diaphragm of 4006 is tensioned slightly looser, resulting in a slightly softer sound at highest frequencies. This microphone also pioneered interchangeable acoustic equalizers, allowing for multiple selectable frequency responses. The amplifier of historical 4006 is a true masterpiece of minimalism, built with just a few transistors and miniature output transformer. It's slightly less transparent than modern electronics, but it has a fantastic tonal balance and musicality. Overall, the 4006 remains an excellent example of how microphone should be built, even after 40 years. For our part, we strive to carry on its legacy. Thanks for watching and happy recording!